Hey guys, hey guys, welcome back. Steve, Al Metal Driving, almetaldriving.com. So at a, I guess, condo, maybe apartment, I don't know. You tell me. Um, kind of town homey ish but nonetheless, I'm here to clean out the dryer vent. They're, they're having troubles, um, multiple cycles to dry a load of clothes. So that's why we're here. We're gonna figure it out, be back. So, the first thing we see, look at that light. See it there? It's hard to tell, hard to see in the camera, but we're going to fix them up. But let's turn it on first and see how it expands. Holy moly. Yeah, we got work to do. All right. We're outside. We're looking up. Has to be one of these guys, I'm thinking. I mean, just, it has to be. But... I have the dryer on, so let's uh, let's go to the wagon and get a ladder down. We'll be back. Oh, okay. And remember, we're we already have the dryer running, so we need to figure out which one is moving the air, because it ain't moving much. And guess why? First one of the season. All right, but I'm still, I'm not sure. I need to, what I need to do now, since this is multifamily, if you look around, I need to go in and shut the dryer off and figure out, is it somebody else doing laundry? Or is this one with the bird nest in it, our true culprit? So let's go do that, we'll be back. All right, climbing back up. So now this one that was running, is not okay easy enough so now we know which one is ours so doodly doodly do all right i'm gonna figure out if i can set this camera up and show you the cleaning all right now that we're up here look in there guys hope this will work you see the problem I do. All right, let me get ready and let's get it out. Only one way to do it. And that might be it, might not be. Let's, uh, let me get the brush ready and run the brush through and see what we got. All right, here goes nothing.
So that was all the way in. But guys, that's what, man. <clears throat> so that's what happens. The mama birds, they go in the nest, man. And when they do, even though their nest is on the very end and it's small, they'll build a, I've seen them four feet long, just trying to dam up that air. That's all they're trying to do is dam up the air. So this dryer is gonna work better. Still have to shorten that flex hose in there. That that that's a lot of flex. But uh we'll be back. Alright, so now I have the leaf blower in there. I have you know I have the uh dryer holding it in place. And I just want to make sure everything is out of there. That way my client is happy. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, so now only thing left to do is I'm just gonna replace that flex hose. I can't save it, it was too crimped in, in actually two spots. Uh, so we'll be right back. Check it out. Oh yeah, so much better. Now this one over here, I don't know if you guys can see, but either way, this one's much better guys. We'll be back. And that right there folks, is how it should look. When you're getting good airflow, absolutely. Hmm. All right, guys. I guess that's gonna wrap this one up. Steve, Owl Metal Dryer Event, OwlMetalDryerEvent.com. Come on, guys, check it out. Um, as you can see, and something I want to stress to everyone: when you live in these multifamily, I won't let me zoom. Uh, when you live in these multifamily homes or structures, you're only as safe as your neighbor. And they're only as safe as you. Check back. No, more good stuff on the way.